Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Like Ruth always said, life's too short to eat anywhere else. Make a reservation online at ruthschris.com or by calling 800-544-0808. Welcome back here to the PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn. That is the one and only Robert Conrad with Nadine, who's calling us from Gary, Indiana on WLTH. Hey, you know what? You've got me up here dancing now, doing my aerobics. Hey, but good for you. you. Kick really it up. Are you, you still playing it? Huh? Yeah, playing that music. You got me up doing Hey, hey. I'm a senior citizen, and I'm up doing my aerobics. Hey, now. hang in there it. for a minute. Don't but go anywhere. Kick it up. I you because it's almost time for me to watch the Miami. Heat. I'm a great sports fan, and I want to see the Lakers and the Heat. But I called you because I've heard you talk about 5 million pe uh, people in the U.S. are in credit card debt. Hey, listen to me for a minute, will you? Wait a minute. Let me let me tell you why I called you. No, wait, wait, wait. He's you dancing to me for you. Minute, He's okay? going to dance for you. Get right up now. there and dance, because here I go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, in the studio, if you're not watching on YouTube... I'm glad you can't see me. And, and you can't see Nadine. I I'm wish you glad could see me, I'm baby. I'm gyrating and really dancing. Robert I wish you Conrad, could see me, honey bunny, because I'm working it. He's working it and busting <laughs> some moves. I think I got you beat, though. Uh, well, who knows? Anyway, thanks for the call, sweetheart. Well, I haven't finished. Oh, well, go for it. Can I finish? Uh, Please, you, go right ahead, Nadine. You give out some numbers to, for people to contact for that are in trouble with IRS and with credit card debt. On Channel 7 News a little while ago, there were people who claimed that they had called certain numbers and given their money to these people, and these people were uh, fraudulent people, even including uh, 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 legal people who were supposed to be lawyers representing companies. Uh, then I saw a little while ago where the, they're ca uh, cap uh, uh, capping the amount of money that Chase can charge on consumer, uh, consumers from 50 cents plus down to 12 cents. Right. I want to know from you, if you were in credit card debt now, would you give your money to any company, or would you try to deal directly with the company? I'm going to hang up and listen. I, all right, go ahead. Hang up and listen. I'll Thank you, you for the call, Nadine. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. What would you do? I'd go direct. I'd go direct, but there are some consumer uh, advocate groups out there that do help you. That uh, You just have to check them out. But I would call the credit card company first myself. Yeah, and find out if they are. See if you can work something out. If they're out functioning, that. then you could go to it, and uh, maybe that can help no, not you. Some of these groups do work on a larger scale because they have uh, attorneys that know what they're doing. But yeah. I would hesitate to have to pay a lot of money to somebody to do it. I would be leery of doing something like uh, that. All right, now listen, before we have the pleasure of speaking to this lovely lady. Our guest. I, I, our guest. Uh, yeah, this is a woman just, first of all, and you get past her good looks, her oh. talent is uh, overwhelming. Great she, Barbara Bain. She oh. uh, e either won or was nominated for three Emmys. Yeah. We'll, we'll ask her whether she was nominated or whether she won them, but uh, a beautiful woman, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, talking to their to her, but I'm afraid uh, John Luke uh, from Paris didn't call to talk to us. No, he wants to talk to Barbara Bain. Also. All right. Well, let's. Can we talk to Barbara first, and yes, then we, John we Luke? Definitely, we're going to talk to Barbara Bain right. first. That's yeah, right. you're going to have to hang for a minute, uh, John, John Luke. Luke have to wait because we want to get. That. We want to talk to her first. All right. Now, for, for your information, uh, and there's 11 million homes here, uh, Barbara. I guess you know it's the number one talk show in the. United States in the right I'm now because it, go it goes okay. all over the world, baby. But it's wonderful. But hang in there for a minute. I want to okay. talk to you. So right. now Barbara is yeah. uh, no. I'm talking to the audience. You just okay. hang in there. Was born uh, September 11th. Known professionally as Barbara Bain. She's uh, obviously an American uh, actress. And what I'm anxious to talk to her about is she was born in my hometown. Mm. She was born in Chicago. Graduated wow. from University of Illinois. And, of course, we all know her from A Mission Impossible. I watched it before I knew what the show was about. It was a great show. Well, no, I watched it to look at her. That's what I was Woo. Well, that's what I was interested in. Nominated for the Golden Globe Award for uh, the actress in television for her performance in Mission. And she won. Oh, wow. I didn't know. She won three consecutive Emmys for Best Dramatic Actress 
for the series 67, 68, 69, and is still very active. And I'm thrilled uh, and honored to have this lovely lady, yes. uh, and this talented actress, as our guest. To those of you out there in your 11 million homes, here she is. Here is Barbara Bain, a.k.a. Uh, Millicent. Hello, Millicent, darling. Yes, how do you do? And it's... <laughs> Nice to talk to you. Thank you for doing the show. Mm -hmm. I, appre I appreciate it. Now. Well, I didn't know you were from Chicago. Yeah, I'm from South Side. I'm from 6105 South Bishop. Where are you from? Wow, South Side. That's right. South Whoa. Side. Kim, Bark, Kim yeah. Bark, I think, was the street name. Yeah, right. Near the it's University a... of Chicago, 60-something. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so did, you didn't go to University of Chicago, did you? I did not. Oh, good, okay. No, I went to the University of Illinois. Yeah, I know. We graduated from there. Now, let me ask you, where yeah. did you live in Chicago? Well, just where I said, Kimbark and 60-something Street. Kim All right. Bark Near Stony, I remember Stony, Stony Island, Island Avenue, Avenue, Avenue was around the corner. Yeah, well, I went you to were, Hyde Park High School. Yeah, you you did? Uh-huh. So did I. Oh, my goodness. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. This is too strange. And, and wait, but anyway, uh, and, and then you the, won't say when. the singer that we just had <laughs> on the yes. air was also from Mel Torme. Uh, Mel Torme was oh, from, yes, of right. course. But I have to share this with you quickly because we can get off of the Hyde Park. I, I went to five high schools, darling. Oh, I went to one. But you know, you and I met in New York, I believe, uh, fleetingly. I, I'm just, just listening. At a, at a workshop for, that Sandy Meisner gave at the Neighborhood Playhouse. Am I totally wrong, or did you not come there? No, you're totally for, right. I did come a there. A summer session. Wow. Yes. But did you know that this beautiful woman was a member of the Actors Studio? That's yeah, correct. Yes. Uh, and that's a classy. Lee act. Strasberg's Actors Studio. That's yeah. classy, classy. Yeah. yeah. All right now, what we what we uh, let's do this because we owe it to the guy. Let's let John Luke interview him uh, now. We, let you me, got calls Barbara. He in? has a he has a show in France, oh. and and so he's going to be interviewing you for his uh, radio station. But this is taped for on air. Yeah, just a couple, John. We, you're Luke, live. We, we yeah. got a few questions. Yeah, we're so. live okay. with you. Darling, but right, uh, Jean Luc, uh, you now have the pleasure of uh, Barbara Bain. The lovely Barbara Bain is with us on CRN, the PM show with Robert Conrad. Jean Luc from uh, France is called in. You're on with uh, with Robert Conrad and Barbara Bain. Go ahead, Jean Luc. Hello, do you Duke. Hello, Mike. Hello, Miss Bain. Hello. I'm so glad to talk to you. It's an honor. Thank you. I have a question for you, please. Yes. Uh, in Savage, you have been directed by a young director called Steven Spielberg. Yes. What kind of director was he at that time? <laughs> he was a baby boy. Wow. I think he had his 23rd or 4th or some birthday like that on the set. And he was wonderful. He made a beautiful show. What did he direct, Barbara Bay? It, what? Was a, it was a pilot called Savage that was done at Universal. It was He had just done his first uh, film for... <clears throat> Pardon me for Universal. Right. And um, actually, we asked for him to direct the pilot, and he did. Very good. So you splendid. had a young Steven Spielberg and uh, Barbara Payne. He was Payne. very That's young. Great. Truly, yeah. he had, I don't know if it was 23rd or 24th birthday on the set. Wow. Uh, okay, yeah. Jean Luc. Jean Luc, huh? what else? Yes, did you, did you like uh, to be Cinnamon Carter one more time in an episode of uh, Diagnosis Murder with uh, Dee Van Dyke? <laughs> well, it was kind of fun. It was fun to be with Dick. Particularly as I had once played his fiance on the Dick Van Dyke show, and there we were a, a, a number of years later, looking at each other and laughing. Hey, Barbara, I want ah. you to do me a favor. Will okay. you say yes? Yeah, uh, yes ahead of time. Yes. <laughs> It'll be anyway. All right. Come on, Barbara. I'm not so sure of that. Oh, Barbara, you can trust me, please. <laughs> Yes, of course. All right, Barbara, Barbara Bain, ladies yes. and gentlemen, will be staying with us for the next segment. That goes out to France, and it goes, of course, to 5,600,000 people here. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Straight ahead more with the lovely Barbara Bain. We're here on CRN, the PM Show Weekend Edition with the one and only Mr. Robert Conrad. Mm -hmm. 